Well, it looks like the Teddy 16 was just the beginning. So a few days ago, a new 990 V3 colorway with the Teddy 16 box was posted on Instagram. I'll be sure to link the original post down in the description. It was acquired in a mall in Dubai from a store that got this colorway early. As you can see, this colorway uh, is very reminiscent of the Teddy 16 colorways. Obviously, it is a little different. It's mostly olive green in the upper, as well as some navy accents around the shoe, as well as some incense suede in the back. It's very hairy, as you can see in the picture. Um, it looks like um, another Teddy colorway. Obviously, the Teddy 16 is just the Teddy 16. All 16 pairs were already revealed in the initial photo here, but as it turns out, a few days later, Dane Foon, an Instagram user who is known for showing off New Balance leaks and early information, provided more information on this pair and what project it was part of. The small details and specifics of the collection might not be 100% right, but for the most part, the biggest information is that this colorway will be part of the next season of Teddy Santis Made in USA collections. There's potentially going to be more than three seasons worth of Teddy Santis Made in USA collections. This olive and navy and incense colorway will be part of season two, which is potentially going to have 15 pairs being comprised of 990 V1, V2, and V3 colorways, which is similar to season one, aka the Teddy 16. Season 2 is rumored to run from September to December, which means that we have a whole new Teddy collection just around the corner. I personally am more excited for Season 3 due to what is rumored to be part of the collection. Season 3 will be potentially released at the beginning of 2023, and its potential collection is really interesting. Its collection is rumored to be comprised of 990v4s, Made USA 996s, 998s, and the highly anticipated 990v6. All four of these silhouettes getting love from Teddy is really exciting for me personally. I think it's awesome that the 990v4 is getting more love since it really hasn't gotten a lot of colorways or retros in the past few years, and the Made in USA 996 hasn't been in production for a while, and the 998 is my personal favorite New Balance silhouette, and of course I am really ecstatic to see that the 990v6 will get some dope Teddy Santis colorway. While the next two seasons of Teddy Santis Main USA collections is definitely exciting to hear. I personally am going to give my wallet a break. Uh, the Teddy 16, or Season 1 as it should be called now, uh, is just about to end and I'm really excited to cap off my collection with the final colorway here. As you can see, it's a green and purple colorway. It's very interesting, but uh, I'll probably pass on Season 2, uh, mainly because it's just going to be more V1, V2, and V3s, and while I'm sure all of the colorways are going to be really dope and very versatile colorways to wear. Um, I personally will be trying to save money for the more interesting Season 3 potentially coming in 2023. I'm going to still try to stick to my goal of only buying Teddy 16 pairs and uh, potentially early pairs of the 990v6. Uh, mostly to save money, I got to be more responsible with uh, buying shoes. Uh, but of course, I will still cover all the news and colorways as the seasons get released over time, so stay tuned for videos on that. So what do you guys think of more seasons of Teddy Santis Main USA collections? I definitely like to hear in the comments. I wanted to get this video out of the way before I did my uh, August highlight video since this is clearly the biggest highlight of August. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.